out and judging by the stunning cocktail dress she has on, Tiffany is walking the runway. She has amazing taste, you know, Jeff. I love that song. It's the first thing Beth thinks about. It's time for you to leave. I don't know if just telling her to leave is really going to do it. I do a little more than that. Like this. Weird thing. Please try and remember the last We're trying to figure out who wanted you dead. No. No! Mm -hmm. Is this the girl you told me about? Oh. Dang, he really cannot keep a secret. Oh, yeah, it's going to be okay. We're going to have to. I'm surprised at how easy she took that. Oh. Oh, shit. All right. You have no idea what's going on. So oblivious. Oh. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, password. Dante. Okay. Hey, can display that mess in there. <laughs> I like her mom. It's kind of weird. Eccentric, but I like her. Yeah. Yeah, for someone who's not really usually using their emotions that much, besides anger. <laughs> she technically didn't tell Nick to keep her out of it, just keep her safe. She could be in it and be safe. I guess keep her out of it, keeps her more safe, so. Oh, calm down, Nick. She's not doing anything bad. She's trying to solve a murder. Doesn't want to tie his face. I'd love to hear about it <laughs> after we get into these files. Yeah, let's focus on the, the task right now. Hey. It's good it wasn't like capitalized. Like, what if it was just a capital D and Ryan's that's it? Invited rivals to sign by the officer of the corporation, Owen Marvin. Oh. Mr. Calamari Spender. From the party, you think he had something to do with Tiffany's death? Oh. Oh. Auntie. You always answer your phone during an investigation. Mr. Come on. I mean, I thought you would. Mission excavate time capsule. So very weird thing he's doing, bringing people in and using equipment that costs a lot of money. He has to pay people to unearth this time capsule. Can she have just brought a shovel and done that? It's okay, but yes, it's okay. Yay! I love this. She's adorable. Ew. Seriously. You put a toothbrush in the time capsule. That else. monster. That's gross. That's a little on the nose. Hello there. Oh, she getting a new laptop? Wasn't her screen cracked just last episode? Is that Lucy? That's pretty good film for how long ago was that? That's good quality. What? What was that? Oh, Ryan. Lucy and Ryan. Oh, that is some weird CGI. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, that, that was really bad. Sorry, Nancy Drew. Sorry, CW, but that was some weird CGI. You're trying to make Ryan's face onto this guy's face, and it's like a big forehead, small face. It looks really bizarre. But that's an interesting reveal. 
I didn't even think about Lucy, Lucy Sable or anything with Ryan, but if Ryan's wife now died, maybe he was with Lucy and that could be a, whatever it's called, I can't think of a word for it, um, a pattern, there we go, pattern. First plus one person he likes go dead when he was younger. Now wife when he's older is dead. It's not a good look. Maybe it's something else. I don't know. Maybe he was related to Lucy. Maybe Lucy was actually one of them. I don't know. That was a really good episode though. I liked it. It was not much like creepy stuff. It was a, little, a lot more investigation. I guess well there was a whole exorcism part of it, but I didn't find that as creepy for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> I didn't find that super creepy. I've seen like a lot, well, I've seen like The Exorcist and I've seen lots of other movies and shows with ghost possession and it's way creepier. So that, this was not creepy at all to me. But it was interesting. I'm really interested to see what's going to happen with a lot of these. Definitely the new guy, the rich guy, who's actually pretty handsome and I've, throughout the episode, liked more and more <laughs> that Nancy was talking to and could be involved in the murder though. And he was definitely involved in Ryan and his business. So that's interesting. Ryan's definitely involved with, well, of course, his wife's murder, something there, and Lucy somehow. So he's in the center of all of this. I'm very interested. And I really like uh, George's mom. I really like her. She's a little kooky and weird and mm, out there, but I love her. And Bess, of course, I would love. Ace, I love. George... She's grown on me a lot. At first, I did not care for George. She was very, like, that typical character who's just angry all the time and doesn't trust anyone. But I'm like, I could tell she, there's layers to her. She, she's very different than any of the other characters, which I like. Ace and Bess are very similar, but with their own problems and hidden, like, secrets and stuff. And then, of course, I like, I'm really grown to like Nancy. I really like the actress that plays her. It's gr she's grown on me a lot. And then, um, whatever that detective chick is, I don't really care for her right now. We haven't seen much of her. She hasn't been any bit useful. All we know about her is that she was friends with Lucy Sable. She was friends with Nancy's mom. And now she's dating Nancy's dad. Like a year after her mom died. I'm like, so she doesn't get good credit for that. And she was lying about the Lucy thing, so that didn't give her good credit. So she really has nothing good going for her right now. She hasn't done anything worth like, ooh. Okay, I could like her. No, she hasn't done that yet. Uh, Nancy's dad was gone this episode. Ryan's just psycho kind of thing. Attacking her like that. I think it was really weird. And I'm loving Laura. Laura. Laura's cool. I like her. I feel bad for her. I hope she doesn't get like cut. I, I would rather, I don't want to get cut out of the investigation. I'd rather her kind of be kept in the loop. Because she seems like she could be very helpful. She's smart. I can tell. And yeah. I think that's all, all, and the whole Elizabeth thing. I want Bess and Elizabeth, of course. I want to see them go on date. I want to see what happens there. Because Bess deserves the best. Bess the best. <laughs> okay, well, please, if you guys like this reaction, this video, please leave a thumbs up down below. I love seeing a thumbs up. It really makes my day. It really does. Seeing thumbs up from you guys makes me realize, like, it takes, because it's easy to just sit and watch the videos or, like, skip through to the parts you want to watch. But it takes extra effort and care to go down and press that thumbs up button. And it really means a lot to me. Like, I'm the same watching YouTube. I will go through a lot of videos. But then, like, if I really like a video, I, ha I remind myself to press that thumbs up. Because I know how good it feels. And I know how, like, I want to spread the love kind of thing. So I will give thumbs up to videos I like. Because I would like the people to do the same back to me. And other than that... Press that subscribe button down below. There should be a thing like right here, right here, right there. Yeah, right there. There should also be something right in the middle right now. Sometime in the next week, very soon, right in the middle. That should help you subscribe and also the button down below. And also down below is a link to my Instagram and my Snapchat. I don't use Snapchat that often, but if you want to talk to me, that's a quick and easy way to do it. Or go to my Instagram, follow me there, and you can DM me. And I will talk to you. We can discuss things. Look at my post. I post pretty often. I definitely go pretty often on the stories to, to, to share what else I'm watching that I can't react to. I've been watching a lot recently. Because I can't react to everything, sadly. <laughs> Which is very sad. That's on 
And what else is there? Also, if you subscribe, which if you do subscribe, I'm at 70 right now. And I'm very thankful. Well, 70 as of right now. By the time this comes out a week later from today, I don't know where I'll be, but maybe, hopefully above 70. But I love seeing that. I'm like, just around Christmas time, I was at 50, and now I'm at 70, about a month, a little less than a month later. It makes me really happy to see that. Like, I love the, every single subscriber makes me happy. I would, sh I would share a video being happy and thinking that one subscriber, every time a new subscriber comes, but that's a lot and a little intense, so I won't. But I will do it every 10, probably. I'll put a post out to thank everyone. And when I get to 100, I don't know, I'll do something for you guys. I'll finally make that intro home video for my channel that I've been meaning to do. I'll do that. I'll do something. I'll come up with something to thank you guys, okay? And maybe I'll start my Patreon then. Because I haven't done Patreon yet. I've, like, I don't know what you guys think about that. And I'll let you guys, like, Patrons look at full videos and everything without editing, which I don't know how interested you guys. I don't get, I've never been that interested in watching full reactions just because I'm just like, I try to show you basically all my reactions, everything I'm not showing you, mostly just me standing there being like, taking a drink of water, looking down at my phone for a second, just kind of waiting. But there's some things, I guess. I can't put everything in, so, and it lets you see the full episode without having the cutouts. So I guess it depends on what you guys like. And I put, of course, other things on the Patreon. But um, let's move on from that. Other than that, there's that much or anything else. Yeah, that's really it. I really hope you guys have a great day. And other than that, check out this other videos to watch on my channel. Go check them out. Watch the rest of my reactions to Nancy Drew and the Runaways. Coming Runaways is on Tuesday, um, and Nancy Drew is on Thursdays. And then, Right now, there's Arrowverse is back, and that's a lot right now. So I'm gonna, whenever I get those filmed, which probably be like a week after they come out, I don't know. It really depends. I might get a chance to film like multiple at once, and then I'll just release them as I edit them. But other than that, I think I'm, I think as of right now, The Magicians, I really I would love to react to them right as they come out, but I don't see that happening. So I might just wait till the season's over and then just edit them and replace it with in the spot of The Runaways or Nancy Drew on Tuesday or Thursday. And I also, Chilean Ventures of Sabrina, I really want to react to that because I love that show. But that's coming out like very soon. I think by the time this video comes out, it has already been out. And I already have so many other shows that I don't know if I'll react to it. Let me know what you guys think. I'll hold off and wait I know I'm going to want to binge watch it the second it comes out. But I will wait, see what you guys think, let me know. And yeah, let me know if you want me to react to that. If you guys don't care as much, then I'll just binge watch it, share my little reactions on Instagram, and yeah. Okay, really hope you guys have a great day. i got to get going and do another video now. Bye.